Hello students, welcome to GS Science Hub. In the previous video about energy, we study about solar energy as well as we compare the difference between biomass and fossil fuel. In that video, I mentioned the next video will be on how to generate electricity from different energy sources. So just think about your home. In your home, most of the appliances you are using are worked on electricity, right? So why most of the appliances and instruments we are using in our day-to-day -day life, which presents in home as well as in factories and other places, are working on electricity? Why we convert most of the energy sources into electricity? Because electricity is very user-friendly, okay? Just think about the instant. If you switch on the fan, it starts to rotate. So electricity is very user friendly and other important reason why we are using electricity in abandon is because we can transfer the electricity easily. By using the conductors we can transfer the electricity from one place to another. Just think about the instant you are using a biomass to produce heat. If you want to transfer this heat energy to different place it's not possible to carry that biomass right. But think about the instant if you generate electricity in one place by using a conductor you can transfer it easily so these are the two main reasons why we are using electricity abundantly in our day-to-day -day activities so let's move into the video and study about the different ways to make electricity electricity is produced by using kinetic energy which is a kind of mechanical energy this kinetic energy is used to rotate a turbine which is connected with a generator the mechanical energy to spin the turbine can come from a variety of sources including falling water wind or steam from heat generated either by nuclear reaction, geothermal energy or by burning fossil fuel. Due to the rotation of this turbine, the generators connected to them also rotate. This generates the electricity. So electricity is produced when a kinetic energy turns copper coils or wire within the turbines. A key part of most electric power plant is the generator, a device that turns rotatory motion into electricity. Inside the generator, coils of copper wire spin inside a strong magnetic field. As the coil moves, the magnetic field creates the flow of alternating current inside the wire. So the source of the rotatory motion is doesn't matter, it just has to be strong enough to turn the generator. Electricity that is generated from water is called hydroelectricity. Falling water rotate the blades of hydroelectric turbine which in turn moves the copper armature inside the electric generator to produce electricity. In hydropower plants the water is stored. So stored energy means the water is having high potential energy. When it opens the water which is stored which having a high potential energy is moved with high speed. So here the potential energy is converted into a kinetic energy. This fast moving water turns the turbine okay which is connected to the generator so this is how the electricity is generated in the hydropower plants the wind power plant rotates the blades of the turbine which moves the generator to generate electricity modern windmills turn mechanical energy into electrical energy photovoltaic cells utilize the energy of the sunlight to produce electricity Direct current is generated from stationary solar panels which are made up of photovoltaic cell and is commonly used for local application. Electricity from steam. A steam power plant produces electricity by burning fuel including biomass, coal or petroleum. Steam generated from the process is fed into a turbine. A generator turns with the rotation of turbines because it's connected with a turbine, right? So it produces the electricity. Nuclear power comes from a nuclear fission process that generates heat, which is used to generate the steam that rotates the turbines to generate the electricity. Actually, the sun generates its energy from nuclear fission. Tidal power is created when tides rotate submerged turbines. The resulting energy is converted into electricity. Geothermal energy uses the internal heat of the earth crust to produce electricity. Here steam is generated by sending water through pipes to such high temperature region. This steam is subsequently brought to the surface of the earth and is used to rotate the turbines of the power plants. Students, by watching this video you understand why we are using electricity abundantly in our day-to-day -day activities. 
as well as we understand about the various ways of generating electricity from different sources. In the next video, we will discuss about sustainable use of energy sources. Like, share and subscribe to J Science Hub for more videos related to science.